Hello my dear students and welcome to Zenith Academy online once again. Today we are going to do yet another concept in the chapter photosynthesis and this concept is adaptations in leaf to perform photosynthesis. Why are leaves adapted to perform photosynthesis and what are the adaptations? Okay. So the first adaptation is large surface area of the leaf. So if the leaf has a large surface area, it can you know, there can be maximum light absorption because of large surface area. Now, in many leaves like uh, you can see here this diagram of oleander and pine, the leaves narrows down. The leaves narrows down for so that they can reduce transpiration. But this feature also helps in increasing the surface area. If the leaf is narrow, so around the whole leaf, the surface area increases, right? Had it been like this, so only this area is getting the light but now it has become very thin narrow narrow leaves so all around the leaf okay the surface is increased so first point was large surface area second point is leaf arrangement so whenever you see a plant like this you can see this is the stem and the leaves are like this they are like this okay outside so they are the arrangement is such that when light falls on it it falls at 90 degree can you see the diagram and understand so leaf arrangement at right angle to the light source to obtain maximum light. So if the light falls obliquely, okay, the maximum light will not fall. Whenever it falls at right angles, then maximum light falls on the leaves and it helps in photosynthesis. We all know that sunlight is helpful in photosynthesis. So the second adaptation in leaf is the way it is arranged, leaf arrangement at right angles to the light source. The third point is cuticle and upper epidermis. Can you see in the diagram cuticle and upper epidermis? Sorry. So see here, this is the cuticle and this is the upper epidermis. I'll show you with the pen. See, this is the cuticle, the upper layer, and this is the upper epidermis. So they are transparent and waterproof, which allows the light to enter freely. And, and we know light is required for the process of photosynthesis. So the third adaptation is cuticle and upper epidermis are transparent and waterproof to allow light to freely enter. The fourth adaptation is lots of stomata are there on the leaf. So numer numerous stomata allow rapid exchange of gases that is oxygen and carbon dioxide which is required for photosynthesis. The fifth point is the leaves are very thin. Okay, I'm talking about the thickness and not the surface area. It is very thin. So, if you take a book like this, okay, this is the surface area, whereas this is the thickness. So, when you see this is very thin in case of leaf, okay. So, the thinness of, now since this, the thickness is very less, it is very thin. It means the distance between the two cells. The distance between different cells where different steps of photosynthesis is happening is very less. Okay. So, there is rapid transport. So, you know from the stomata, uh, the gases enter. From the upper epidermis, the light is entering. Okay. So, since the distance between the uh, cells is very less now. So, there will be rapid transport of these things and photosynthesis will take place very rapidly. The next point is chloroplasts are concentrated in the upper layers of the leaf to obtain light energy very quickly. So the chloroplast, okay, those cells in the leaf which contain the chloroplast are mainly present at the upper layers of the leaf. You know, we have already studied this in detail, the palisade tissues, can you see here, these ones and the here maximum, you know, here maximum chloro, uh, photosynthesis takes place. So, these are present in the upper layers of the leaf. Okay. And very less uh, photosynthesis happens in the stomata or in the below level. So, they are all at the upper layers of the leaf so that they can obtain energy very quickly. The last point is extensive vein system. Can you see in the leaf there is extensive vein system for rapid transport to and fro the mesophyll cells. Okay, We know photosynthesis happens in mesophyll cells. So, so there is a rapid, uh, there is an extensive vein system. So from, you know from the veins of the leaf only the water comes in through the roots. Okay, 
and from here only the other things that the carbohydrates and all pass. So extensive vein system helps in the rapid transport to and from the mesophyll cells. So children, these were the seven different adaptations so that the leaf is able to perform photosynthesis very well. So write the answer very perfectly. You should know all the seven adaptations really well. I've tried my level best to give you the best of diagrams and examples to understand uh, this concept. I hope you have liked the video. If you have liked the video, do give it a thumbs up. Write in the comment section, subscribe to the channel and share this with all your friends. Also, please keep on watching the next modules for understanding the whole chapter of photosynthesis very well. Bye-bye my dear students and keep the learning always on. Thank <laughs> you.